Hello and welcome to another episode of Portal 2. Let's see, today I have a little time before I go to work. Hopefully I'll be able to finish a test chamber. Sometimes I take forever on even the simplest test chambers. But uh, today I've downloaded some. Uh, I played uh, a test chamber made by Scabby1000 and he commented uh, did he like my video so I thought I'd give uh, another one of his test chambers a run uh, this one is called Carpe Diem which is Latin for seize the carpet I think that was from what was it WKRP some old comedy show where he said yes seize Carpe Diem car Carpe Carpet uh, Anyways, it was funny the first time I heard it. Seize the carpet. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, this uh, test chamber only has three ratings and only scores two and a half little bluish green circles, but we're going to jump right into it. And I'm working on my second cup of coffee for the morning. I swear I know him. Uh oh. Oh, I like this guy. These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. Uh -oh. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Okay. How come some of these entranceways are darker than others? It's like sometimes they're nice and lit up. At least somewhat. Hey, what happened to what happened to the graphics? Oh well. And here we have a little poster. Oh, it's got some of everything in here. Well, I hope I can finish this. I've got. Oh. Well, that was uh, certainly something. Hmm. Okay. Well, that looks easy. All we have to do is block that laser. The door opens. And I guess we are out. Oh, wait. We have two exit doors. Oh, it's one of these, huh? Two exit doors. Okay. Oh. oh, this looks very elaborate. I don't know if I will. Oh. I don't know if I will be able to finish this in the time I have allotted. As my vast viewing audience knows, I can take forever to solve even the easiest of puzzles. Oh. Well, we have the uh, bouncy stuff down here. We have a cube. Okay. And here we have okay. It's going to drop the nut from it. Uh, no, it is not auto... Uh, auto respawning. Okay, can we jump up there and get it? Of course not. Can we... Can't even jump up out of here. Can we... Oh, let's... We appear to be stuck down here. Ah. Well, we can't get back out. Okay, but we cannot get up there. 
which means we will have to. What will we do? Let's see, we have a light bridge there. Now that will slide the cube up to the edge, but how do we... How do we catch it? Ah. Can we, well... I can't shoot. And it appears to be... Well, I don't, I don't know what color it is. Ah. Oh, of course not. Well, this is not. <laughs> Eventually, I will be able to get out of here after jumping around forever. <laughs> have to say, that's uh, not the uh, best design I've ever seen on a... These bridges are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. Okay. Surfaces. We've got a screen. Ah, uh, maybe we need this key. Here. And 
grab it. Okay, much better. Now, let's... Ow! I hate those things. Okay, now we have, didn't we have another, ah yes, we have another laser receiver, which opens this door. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, just because I may need it, I'm going to bring this cube in here. Here we have... Okay, no going back from that. Good thing I brought this cube. Should have tried to see if there was some way to bring the laser cube. And this is the companion cube. Huh. Well, we have... Two pits of sewage with water flowing into them. Oh. Well, okay, well, it looks like I have to walk in here. Hey! It burst under flesh. Get it started. Get it started. It's right and it's rising. It's rising terrible. Oh my, get out of the way, please. It's burning and bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning fast and all the folks between us. This is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's just like plenty. Oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. And it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now and the flame is rising to the ground. Not quite to the morning mass of the humanity. Okay. Uh, I have to say, I'm not, not, <laughs> I mean, this has so far been an overall very interesting uh, puzzle, but, I mean, just walking in and dying, I mean, what is this, Call of Duty we're playing here? Okay, put these here, even though I cannot take them with me. I'll just stack them on top of each other. Okay. Um. See, no way to redirect the water. Okay, when I walk in there, that guy's going to start shooting. So I have got to find some way. Am I supposed to just run across there because there's like nothing to hide behind? Oh wait, there's no place to go. Okay. Ah. Okay, put these here. Can I take those through? And how do I? done in such a way to where you just don't walk in the room and die because there's the first time you walk through that door there's like no way you're going to realize 
you're going to see that button and hit it before he kills you. Um. Ah. Well, that was easy. And we jump through here. Look around to see if there's anything that will kill us. And let's see, we have a button up there. We have a button right here. That flips over on a timer. We have bouncy stuff there. Is that the final exit? Okay. Oh. What? What's that accomplish? All that button did was drop me back out. Why'd I go in there? I don't know. Oh, there's the, uh, I guess that's the cube dropper from the start of the game. Okay, um, we have another button up there. Let's go back up here. I mean, there has to be some reason we were up here. Can we? What are we supposed to do up here? There's got to be something. cannot shoot portals anywhere. Okay, I guess what we are supposed to be doing here is jumping up to the other place. Let us center that just to, for aesthetic reasons. the wrong buttons. Okay. So we have this drops. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. Go ahead and grab another one. I'll do that. Thank you very much. Okay, so, let's just set this over here. Okay, we have speed gel. We have a tractor beam and a button. We have the bouncy gel. And that. Well, that's... What does that do? I don't know. And that. Ah, that gives us a ramp. Which means we will want to go back down there for something. Okay, um. Anyway, let us. I don't think we can set the cube on the bouncy gel. I think it just starts bouncing around like crazy. So.
Okay. Um. next test. I'm going to go to the surface. It's a beautiful day out. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, maybe I'll let you ride an elevator all the way up to the break room. And I'll tell you about the time I saw a deer again. <laughs> okay. Okay, I will give that a tentative thumbs up. There were a couple, uh, a couple of places there where I mean, having to, having to restart the game, I mean, in, when I was in that pit, obviously you can jump out of it, because I did it once, but spending five minutes just bouncing around, that's... And when, if you walk into a room and just immediately get killed, um, like I say, it's, we aren't playing Call of Duty here. But other than that, some uh, very... Uh, good puzzles, not extremely hard, but uh, entertaining. Uh, and I think often test chamber makers forget that this it's a game. It's a meant to be a diversion from uh, the tedium of our everyday lives. Uh, but that was very entertaining. There are a couple of things I would change about it, but again, it's not my test chamber. And those of you who've played the couple of test chambers I've put up on Steam know that they really suck. <clears throat> but that about wraps it up for this episode. About time for me to get to work. Or get ready to go to work. But uh, I will see you on our next episode.